So, is it possible for us to have two numbers, let's say x and y, so that their power is equal to their product, and that is x to the y's power is equal to y times x? Hmm, let's have a look. Here, if we take a look at 2 to the third power, is this the same as 3 times 2? Well, of course not, right? Because this right here means we do 2 times 2 times 2 when we have a power, and that is going to give us 8. But when you just multiply 3 and 2 together, this is going to give us 6. So of course, this is not correct. But I know you guys know this as well. If we have 2 to the second power, that happens to be the same as 2 times 2. Because this means 2 times 2, which is of course the same as that. That's 4, and this is 4. And now, I know, happy, right? But in fact, the expression for this question is actually the following. Check this out. I was doing this question, i to the negative 1 power. Well, how do we usually simplify this? In fact, you write this as 1 over i because of the negative exponent. And we don't like to have the i on the bottom. Let me just multiply it, i on the bottom, also on the top. On the bottom, i times i gives us i squared, and by definition, that is negative 1. 1 times i is just i. i over negative 1, that gives us negative i. So as you can see, when we have i to the negative 1, this is the same as negative 1 times the base, i. And I think this is really, really cool. Of course, we are not done yet, because we have to see if we can find out more possibilities for this. So now, let's do it. Here we go. Start with the equation, x to the y is equal to y times x. Right here, I'm going to first assume that x is not equal to 0, but you might be wondering, what if x is equal to 0? We just have to consider another case. For now, I'm considering the non-zero case. When x is not equal to 0, we can divide x to both sides, cancel. This is x to the y over x to the first. Rule of exponent tells us that this is x to the y minus 1, and that is equal to y. And then we can get x by itself by raising both sides to 1 over y minus 1. So that this and that cancel, we get x is equal to y raised to the power of 1 over y minus 1. So what this means is that, go ahead and pick any value for y except for what? The 1, because it happens to be in the denominator, so we have to impose another condition. Then you can pick any other y value, work that out, then you get the x value, and then that will make this work. So let's have a look real quick. I'm just going to pick, we cannot pick 1. Don't pick 2 because 2 to the 2 is equal to 2 to the 2, so let's pick, not 4, that's too hard, let's pick 3. Start with y equals 3. So this is just an example. And worked out the x. x will be 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, which is the same as 3 to the 1 half, and feel free to write it as square root of 3. Now, when x is equal to square root of 3, raise that to the y's power, are we going to end up with 3 times the base, square root of 3? Well, this right here is pretty much done, so let's work this out. To work this out, you can write this back into the fractional exponent, or you can do the following. What does this mean though? It means we have square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. This right here is what? That is just equal to 3, and then times that square root of 3. So of course, this right here is correct. So, this right here will help you to generate almost all the solutions though, but we do have to have these two conditions. Well, why do I mean by almost all solutions? Because this is only one of the cases. The main case actually, but we still have to consider the special cases. So let's have a look. So now, we are going to consider the, the case that if x is equal to 0. To work this out, I will plug in 0 into all the x's, so we get 0 to the y being equal to y times 0. On the right hand side, 
y times 0 is always equal to 0, that's for sure. But we have to be careful right here. Because y is in the exponent, there are conditions. For one, y cannot be negative, because otherwise it's undefined. For example, 0 to the negative 1 power, that is what? 1 over 0? That is undefined. We cannot have 0 on the bottom. So, cannot have 0 for y. Cannot have negative number for y. But can we have 0 for y? Now, not really, because 0 to a 0, this right here has no agreement. This is the best possible answer that I can provide, or best possible response. I think that's a better word. It has no agreement, so no answer. In fact, I will tell you, you cannot have imaginary number like the complex i. This right here is also undefined. You can check my other video for that, but not defined. So there are a lot of conditions. No negative, no zero, no non-real number. So what do we do though? In order for this to be zero as well, y has to be greater than zero. When we have positive y, for sure we get zero. Now it works. So that's the solution for case two. Any positive y with zero, like zero squared is equal to two times zero. So that's that. Now we also have to consider what if y is equal to one. So that's my case three. We start off with y being equal to one, plugging into here and here, we get x to the first being equal to one times x. This is very nice because that is always going to be x. 1 times x is always going to be x as well. x is equal to x. What's the solution for that? You can pick anything that you want because x is always equal to x. So in fact, when y is equal to 1, you can have any x. Yep. So these are the three cases that will make that equation work. That's it.